Good evening, Kyla. Good evening, Miss. Hmm, it looks like you're the only one who can join the class tonight. So, well, since you're the only one, we're not going to do the clear, but we're going to do your writing instead. You need a lot of practice for writing, though. So, go on then, Kyla. I'm going to ask you to do your writing. Okay, you Miss. You haven't done anything since last week. Kyla, I cannot share my screen. I don't know why. Do you see my screen share? Yes, miss. Oh, okay. Now you see it. Okay, so you're not on your um writing file. Where are you? So as you can see, the first thing that you need to do is to write your uh, thesis statement if you already know your thesis statement, it would be easier. However, if you don't know your thesis statement yet, you can start with a broader subject as you can see from the last session. You can begin with a quotation, a question, or build up the background. Let's go, Kaila. What do you want to start with? A quotation, a question, or a broad subject to be narrowed down? I guess I just question. Question? Go on. What's the question? Remember, the question doesn't have to be a life-changing question. It can be something just as simple as, have you ever heard of blah, 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 blah? Uh, uh, it can be when or where. Gitu nggak, Miss? Uh, if it's when, um, your uh, it can why the reason of it's better if you ask the the reader. Do you know why? So something like that. So do oh, you know, okay. Instead of just why is the blah 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 happening or why did the blah 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 happen? It's better because you are addressing the reader. Let's go, Kyla. You haven't written anything. Um, let's make it a goal. You need to finish your writing the paragraph in, say, 20 minutes. Because during test time, you also have about 20 minutes to do the whole essay or a paragraph. So it's better to practice it now to write quickly.
there should be no space between a question mark and the word. There you go. You put extra space unnecessarily. See, you already start with a question. Now you can start to build up the topic. Like, when did it happen? Okay, miss. Kyla, it's been two minutes. You haven't written another sentence. It should be easy, don't you think? There you go. By the way, do you know the difference between war and battle? A battle is only one occasion, but the war is usually long. So if you, if your title, if, if, if you're, uh, dimulai dari 21 Juli hingga 5 Agustus, it's that, battle uh, or war? Battle. That, mm -hmm. But your title is War. You can start, uh, you can rename your title with What battle is this? Aggression military 
aggression military one or what? Aggression military one. Hmm. After Indonesian independence. Yes. So why don't you just name it aggression military one uh, battle? Because when you talk about war, war is the whole like years. But a battle is probably like days or just months. One occasion, one place only. But war can be in different places. So when you say Dutch war, it can be in Surabaya, Jakarta, Palangkaraya, Papua, and so on. So Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you write aggression? Military aggression. You're, you're not writing it the same, Kyla. The first one, the first date is July the 21st, and then the second date is 5th of August. They need to be similar. There you go. See, this is two sentences already. You only need five sentences, five to eight. So six is fine, five is also fine. This is um, this is probably your paragraph in Indonesian. Apakah kamu tahu tentang uh, agresi militer Belanda kepada Indonesia? Pertempuran ini terjadi pada tanggal 21 Juli 1947 hingga 5 Agustus 1947. Pertempuran diawali oleh bla 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 bla. Atau pertempuran bermula dari bla 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 bla. You can do a sentence about it. And then you can explain more. So at least there will be two sentences talking about the reason of the battle. Wait. How miss? You want to talk about the military aggression battle, right? So there needs yeah. a reason for this battle to happen. You can talk it talk about the reason in the third sentence and the fourth sentence. Yes. So go on then. You already spend ten minutes between the first time you started writing until now. 
Remember, we are trying to write quickly. They already talk about the reason from the Netherlands. How about the reason from the Indonesian part? Indonesia yang tidak setuju dengan pengambil alihan kekuasaan ini kemudian melakukan perlawanan. So. Okay. Now you can just finish it with a thesis statement. What do you want to talk about for if you want to continue this introductory paragraph to a whole essay? What do you want to talk about in the next part? Jadi intinya cerita agresi militer ni apa gitu? That's the um, the thing that you need to put in the thesis statement. I don't know. Maybe like. Uh. Mm -mm. It can be strategi peperangan kah, Miss? It's okay. No problem. What do you want to talk about the strategy? Or you can simply say something like um, peperangan ini akhirnya membuat Belanda pergi dari Indonesia. Indonesia mempertahankan kemerdekaannya dan dunia mengakui kemerdekaan Indonesia. Something like that. Or I don't know. I I cannot remember. 
was there a treaty? Ada perjanjian ya setelah agresi militer pertama. I don't know. So you can put that. Peperang, uh, peperangan ini membuat I don't know. Some... Let's go, Kaila. You only have five more minutes. Like, I know the Zoom won't over until 40 minutes, but our target is for you to finish writing this uh, in another five minutes. Let's go. If you only make that sentence, but the battle ended with KMB agreement, that's it. Uh, people will not want to read the next part. Like, udah, udah, udah selesai. Tapi peperangan berakhir dengan perjanjian. Udah, titik. Terus ngapain lagi dibaca bagian selanjutnya? We are not going to read the next part. But if you talk about uh, peperangan ini, blah, 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 blah. Oh, berarti selanjutnya kita akan ngebahas KMB, perjanjian KMB, terus apa lagi, terus apa lagi. My, um, I mean, when you say end it, it feels like it's the end already for the the essay. It doesn't need to be continued. Remember what you're writing at the moment is an introductory paragraph. Ini baru paragraf perkenalan. Imagine this one, Kayla. Baru kenalan sama cowok. Akhirnya, you, you are telling a story to your classmate. Eh, tadi aku ketemu sama cowok loh. Terus cowok itu baik banget. Akhirnya, dia pergi ke... Dia pergi ninggalin aku. Oh, ya udah It's the end of the story when you say ended. So, it's better not to say ended in your introductory paragraph. Kayla, are you there? Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. so. The battle. Come on. You only have two more minutes. See, this is what happened, Kayla. You have, you don't have enough practice writing because every writing session, for the past two, two writing sessions, you were absent. So, still ended. No, I mean, it's like this. When you put the word "n" in the introductory paragraph, it sounds like it's the end. Ya udah, udah kelar gitu. Listen to this. Uh, Indonesia, blah, 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 blah. Peperangan ini akhirnya, uh, peperangan ini mengantarkan Indonesia dan Belanda menuju ke Perjanjian, what, what is KMB, by the way? Konferensi Majapundar. You can say it. Don't make it KMB. What is KMB? People won't know. 
so, per, uh, peperangan ini membuat Indonesia mengad, mengadakan perjanjian dengan Belanda yang dikenal dengan uh, the Round Table Conference. That's one. Itu baru ide pertama, not idea. I mean, that would be the second paragraph. Berarti paragraf keduanya ngomongin tentang KMB. Setelah KMB ada apa? What do you have after KMB? This part. Uh, if the second paragraph about the start in Ambarawa and and in Medan, and the next is KMB. KMB, yeah. Okay, that's fine. The war, okay, which started in Ambarawa. The war which started in Ambarawa and and in Medan will mm, akan a uh, wood. akan membawa Indonesia ke konferensi meja bundar dengan Belanda. Something. Let's go, Kayla. See, you have passed the time. Udah 20 menit nih, ngerjain segini doang, nggak kelar. So. Language is weird. Yang namanya belajar bahasa tuh aneh. I mean, we know what we have to do. We know the details. But sometimes when we have to apply it, ketika kita harus mengaplikasikannya kita suka bingung sendiri that's why we need practice makanya butuh latihan yang banyak yang namanya kelas bahasa itu if you only know the ah udah tahu kok kata katanya udah tahu udah udah ngerti udah paham ya yeah, but you never apply it it will mean nothing Okay, so now you finished your paragraph. Let's discuss your paragraph. First of all, can you see my screen? Yes, just, miss. I'm just going to copy paste these things that you need to check from your paragraph. Hush. Oh, well. So is the paragraph indented? No. No, you need to indent your paragraph. Yang ini bukannya awal paragraph. Oh, yang ini. Hmm. If this is the beginning of the paragraph and you indent this, it means that the rest needs to combine with this. Berarti yang ini nggak boleh ada sisanya, nggak boleh ada jutnya. Naik terus ke atas. There you go. Okay, now the paragraph is indented. Do the general statements in the paragraph consist of lead and a bridge? Ada lead-nya nggak? What is the ada. lead in a paragraph? Lead-nya apa berarti? Question. The question, got it. Okay, now, setelah lead-nya, ada bridge-nya enggak? Ada. Bridge. 
the bridge, jembatan antara pertanyaan ini sampai ke akhir paragraf, apakah nyambung? Apakah semuanya? Yeah. Ya, yeah. oke. Okay. There you go. Do you use a suitable technique for writing the paragraph? Suppose that yes. Is the thesis statement well formulated? Thesis statement. Thesis statement yang mana? Thesis statement military aggression. No. Okay. Thesis statement is the last, usually the last sentence. Nah, ini. Akhirnya jadi ngulang balik-balik ke situ lagi, Kak. Soalnya Kayla nggak pernah hadir kalau sesi nulis. This statement is the last sentence of the introductory paragraph. So which one is your thesis statement, Kayla? This battle will bring Indonesia and Netherlands to hold a roundtable conference. Hmm. Udah bagus belum tuh kalimatnya? No. No. These two should be combined to make a stronger thesis statement. Seharusnya dua kalimat ini digabung aja, jadi thesis statementnya lebih kuat. The war which started in Ambarawa and ended in Medan would bring Indonesia and Netherlands to hold a roundtable conference. Udah. Daripada dipisah dua gini, mendingan dijadiin satu, jadi thesis statement. So, go on then. Please fix your thesis statement. The war which started in Ambarawa and ended in Medan would bring Indonesia and Netherlands to hold a roundtable conference. And ended. You just started, so this should be ended. Okay, there you go. It means that the next paragraph, you would talk about, probably you would talk about the start of the war in Ambarawa for the second paragraph. The third paragraph is uh, ending in Medan. And then the fourth paragraph would be about the round table conference. Tuh. Berarti ini adalah kesimpulan dari seluruh esainya. That's a better formulated This is statement than the earlier one. Now let's check number five. Are all sentences grammatically correct? Let's start from the first sentence. Very well. Do you know about the military aggression between the Netherlands and Indonesia? <coughs> the battle. Oh. Well, you need to add battle then. Do you know about the military aggression battle between the Netherlands and Indonesia. Hmm. The battle took place on Okay, the battle took place on until hmm. You can see it on my screen. What's wrong with that? Kaila, can you see it on my screen? Yes, miss. What's wrong with your until? I don't know, miss. Can you can you not see the suggestion over oh, here? Until? until the L is double. Ah, there you go. Fix it. Okay, the now let's check the next sentence. The background of the military aggression, you cannot use is, it's talking about the past. Was. Mm -mm. Oh, 
purpose because the Netherlands and where is it? The background of the military aggression was because the Netherlands and the Allies. Uh, you miss one thing. Ingin merebut kontrol kembali. So, mm -mm, past tense. Not once. Wanted to return to control the control of Indonesia. See, there you go. Wanted to return control without the. Grammatically correct. You don't use the, Kyla. Hmm. The Allies wanted to return control of, we don't use the for Indonesia. Netherlands, yes, but not Indonesia. Mm. There you go. The background of the military aggression was because the Netherlands and the Allies wanted to return control of Indonesia. Because of that, comma, Remember, when you use because of that, there's always a coma. Because of that, Indonesia took, oh, what do you want to say? We took the fight to the Netherlands action. Kaila? Yes, miss. What do you want I'm to sorry. say, miss? Indonesia ingin mengambil pertempuran ke aksi Netherlands. I'm confused. What do you want to say? Indonesia wants to fight back. Ah, there. A simpler sentence would be better. Indonesia wanted, uh, Indonesia fought back or Indonesia fought the Netherlands back. Hmm. Also, I idea. <coughs> It was correct. Indonesia fought the Netherlands back. Or fought back the Netherlands. No two. There. Fought back against. Huh. If you use um, Google Docs, there are, there are suggestions. Against, not against. There, and because of that, Indonesia fought back against the Netherlands action. The, ah, uh, the war, back to war. The war or the battle? The battle which started number one. There you go. Now, do all sentences use correct punctuation capitalization? Check lagi. Ada nggak yang uh, butuh punctuation capitalization? Names, Ambarawa, Uda, Medan, Dan, Indonesia. And, ah, you missed this. It's not Netherlands. The Netherlands. Ah, roundtable conference is a name, so you need to use capitalization. Okay, there you go. See, it's not that difficult. Kalau memang sering latihan, pasti akan lebih cepat. Sayangnya Kaila selama ini jarang sekali latihan. 